All right, if you're looking at this video, it means that you're looking for uh, the season, right? Spring and summer, get your boat in the water. Here are some of the materials that you're gonna need for your proper maintenance. And I'm gonna be covering here are the oils for the motor and also for the gearbox of your outboard, uh, the pumps that you might need and the filters. And a bonus in the end is gonna be the compass that I'm gonna be installing in my boat. I'm also gonna be replacing the hub kit for the prop. So this is very important as well to maintain uh, a perfect uh, use of uh, the prop. So let's go into the details. First of all, so we can take out of the way here, is the gear, right? Right here. So the oil that the Volvo S X 3.0 will use is the 75W90. This is specified in your manual, so go ahead and verify. But this is what I found. It's gonna lead a lot less than this big um, kind of gallon that I have in here. But I purchased it was cheaper to buy it this way. You have a another oil here, which is for the motor. It's a 10W30. Again, this is full synthetic and it's gonna be great. Uh, you might probably gonna need the entire thing. It has four quarts in there. I mean, five quarts, a little over a gallon. Very important, replace your oil every season or maybe every two season, depends on how much you use the boat. All right, to replace the, the gear oil, you gotta replace it from the bottom. Am I, am I gonna be doing a video in the future how you do that? There's plenty of videos out there. You're gonna need a, a pump like this, right? This is the cheapest I could find. It's about $4 and some change. I'm gonna do a video on this later on, but this is, you're gonna plug this into your quart bottle. bottle. Of course, I, I will not be able to do that with this big one because the size is different. It doesn't matter, you just get a stick in the bottle and then you pump and you press this in the bottom of your gear case and the oil going from the bottom up so it doesn't get any air trapped inside so this is uh, very important you gotta have one of these the second pump i thought this is kind of expensive pump but makes the, the life a lot easier when replacing the oil this goes in the uh, oil stick you have a threaded like a hoser guard you threaded this and then you pump the oil is sucked from the engine without any spill. So I'm gonna be looking at this in a moment as well. Let's talk about the filters, right? This is very cheap as well. I found it for about three and a half, uh, four dollars. This is the, the one for the 3.0 Volvo Pent X PH30. You don't need to buy the Volvo one. This is gonna do just as good as the, the original. And this is the, the filter right here hand tight, you don't need to have any special tool to replace. This is the one. For the for the fuel, fuel system, I'm gonna replace the original filter. You might have one that looks like a kind of a rock. I'm gonna go with the paper filter. I, I like this one better. I see a lot of people replacing by this and works great. So I'm gonna be replacing this one later on as well. And this is the hub, hub kit. Let me open this real quickly here, and you guys are gonna see what is inside. You have a couple of, bunch of parts here. Oops. This is the main portion, right? This is the, the plastic sleeve. So anytime you have a problem, this is the part that needs to break before you get in trouble. And this is the metal part that goes inside, and all of this goes in the prop. Of course, the shaft goes in here. If uh, the motor gets stuck or the, blade, the, the prop gets stuck, this will rotate, breaking this loose, and then you gotta replace. Mine is a real, it has a couple of cracks, so I decided to, to buy a new one. You're also gonna get a, a new nut. I, I have a, there's a lot of different kinds of this, so you gotta verify from your own engine, and then uh, make sure you purchase the correct one. Hopefully I did the, I did purchase the, the correct one. So now let's go into the details of the other components I have in here. Let me open now the oil pump. As I said, no surprising here. It's sealed. 
And then you got this. Oops. Out of the way. There you go. This is a pump. As I said, you're gonna screw this into your IO stick and then just pump. The IO is gonna be speeded out. In the box, you're also gonna find this little rubber hose. hose. You're gonna need it for you plug in here. And you're good to go, right? Just pump the oil out. Get this out of the way here. So this one, there's no secret here, right? So this is the pump you're gonna press in here. You have an adapter as well. And this is the stick that goes on the bottom. So you can hit some uh, bigger bottles. You're gonna need it. I don't need to open this one as well. You can see from here, paper. This is the part number. We already have seen this, so no big deal. All right, so the bonus is right here. This is a compass. This is the leading brand right here. It works from any direction, which is pretty cool. Anyway, anywhere you look at, it's always gonna be pointing to the uh, north. And, and even if the bolt is shaking a lot, you see how it rotates. This is the leading brand in the market, so very high expectation is high on this device. So you have a, a terminal here. What I found to be is that only for the lights. So you have an LED light in here that shines and that's where you power that on. It doesn't need to have power on to, uh, to look for the north. So this is something very cool. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, make your maintenance, keep the boat up and have fun during over summer.